Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Notion from Gabor. It's in the color dark brown. I'm very excited to be bringing you a dark brunette. I know I don't do a lot of dark, dark brunettes and I'm really excited to show you this dark brown color. If you wanna know more about this short, budget-friendly basic cap wig, Stick around. Thank you so much, Name Brand Wigs, for partnering with me on this review. I'm thrilled to bring a new style by Gabor, a shorter style, a budget-friendly style, and a dark color. Name Brand Wigs is an online retailer that I have trusted for my entire wig wearing journey and I was a customer of theirs long before I partnered with them on reviews. Uh, they're a great retailer with lots of support, great customer service, a blog, so much. So if you have not checked them out, I would recommend you do. Namebrandwigs.com. I have linked this wig in the description. All right, you guys, let's take a look at Notion from all sides. All right, guys, what I want you to notice, the nape is very short. It is 1.5 inches. I'm going to turn around so that you can see that. I'm just taking my shoes off. They're hurting my feet, so we're going barefoot. 1.5 inches. If you are not familiar with short wigs, I always tell my wig-wearing sisters that you should be aware of your how your hairline fits for, for anything from a two inch nape and shorter so that you know if you ha are going to struggle to hide your bio hair. I have to wear a wig grip and tuck all my hair up into the wig grip in order for it not to show on a nape this short. And we've got just it's longer on the top and the front so you've got a short cut in the back and some length in the front really attractive and flattering. So like I said in the beginning, this wig is a budget-friendly piece. Right now, as I film this video, it retails for around $119 on the Name Brand Wigs website. If you use the code DENISE30, you will get 30% off. I think I typed it in just to see what the price would be. $89 and some change, I can't read that part, but under $90 for this piece. Now it does have a, a machine made or basic cap, it's known as both, and let's take a look at that. So there aren't any frills on this, no cap features, no lace front, no monofilament, just your standard cap with wefting. We don't have an extended nape. You can't even really see it because it's the cap is so dark, but it also has Velcro adjusters. And it fits really comfortably. I'd say this is running um, a little bit bigger than average. It fits me pretty big. I have it cinched in and there's tons of stretch and I do get extra cap up here. So I would say this is, you know, solid average to average large, I really think. And then if you're smaller than that, um, there's so many videos on YouTube showing you how to make a wig cap smaller. If you struggle because you have small measurements and you're so frustrated that sometimes wigs like this that are a great price won't fit you, I would really encourage you to look at some of those videos on YouTube and learn how to make a cap smaller. It's really easy and you can do it just by sewing some wefts together. You don't even have to cut into the cap if you don't want to. So we've got a nice size cap. This is, I would say, you know, a good density. It's not a heavy density. It's not a super low density. It's kind of more in the middle, moderate density. There is some permatease up here. So I've got permatease all right up here and at the crown, which gives it that lift, that sort of bump back there. It's not heavy permatease though. It is I think for a style like this, it is the perfect amount of permatease because it looks polished. I mean, this is the kind of haircut that you round brush to get some lift and some, you know, some flow to the hair. But if you're looking for something with no permatease at all and super low density, that's not this piece, but it's not heavy density. It's not overwhelming and the permatease is not heavy. Now, because this is a basic cap, there is the potential that you could see some visible permatease at the part line. That is largely going to depend on the color. A dark color like this or a 
rooted color will be less likely to show visible permatees than a non-rooted lighter color or a blonde. And what I mean by that is there's these, it's hard to tell because this is so dark, but it's like little nesty fibers. Let me see if I can get close. You might be able to see it just a little bit, especially if I split the hair. Nesty fibers that look a little frizzy, that's visible permatease. All wigs that don't have any monofilament for parting, there's a risk of seeing permatease. The permatease is there not just to give lift, but to hide where the fibers are sewn into the cap. So it's kind of necessary at the part line at least on these types of wigs. Some of the things that you can do to, to combat that, number one, get a dark color or get a rooted color or take your wide tooth comb and you sort of just pick at the part line. What I'm doing is I'm kind of picking that hair up so I try to get the hair to lift up above that permatease so that you can't see it. Because this wig doesn't have a lot of permatease, you're not getting a ton of lift or volume on this one. So you kind of, you can get some, and I think if you want to use styling product, you might be able to get a little more, but it's not going to give you a lot of poof. It's just not a high permatease piece. But it's such a cute polish style. And for those of you who like to tuck, it's absolutely tuckable. You can really change up the look by tucking, by tucking one side. If you used some styling cream and some hairspray, you could really get it sort of messy and piecey. And headbands. My One of my favorite things to do with short wigs is to put a headband on. It just really can change up that look and make it so fun. And if you get a piece that does show visible permatease, a headband is awesome. I I have a couple of basic cap wigs that I really love, but I don't love that I can see the permatease. I always wear those with a headband because I love the color, I love the style and everything else. And a, that'll just hide that permatease. So keep that in mind and tuck that in your back pocket if you ever find that a struggle in your wig wearing. Alright everybody, we're at the color se section of this video. So let's talk about color. Dark brown. This is almost black. It is a very, very dark brown. There's no highlighting. It is just a rich, deep, dark brown. It is as close to black as it can be without being black. And to some people, they may actually think it's black. I'm trying to kind of look at it out of the glare of my lights. So, so if you really like deep brunettes, but you don't really like black, this is close. Also, if you um, like some a little bit of dynamic color, this doesn't have that. But it's very rich. So even though you don't see any visible highlights, it is a rich color. It looks like really healthy, dark hair that you may have gotten and gotten it colored in a salon so that it had that healthy, rich, deep pigment. It's a very deeply, richly pigmented brunette. And for those of you who get are sensitive to wig shine, I'm not, you know, this one, in some lighting, it looks, you can kind of see that shine, but it doesn't look like synthetic wig shine to me. It looks like super healthy hair. It actually looks like, I don't know if you guys ever did this, but when I was younger and I would like do my hair to go out, I would spray this glossing spray on my hair to kind of give my hair a fresh, healthy shine. That's what this reminds me of. Not synthetic wig shine, but just healthy hair shine. All right, let's get outside so that you can see this color outside. Thank you so much, Name Brand Wigs, for sending me this so I can share it. This is what it looked like straight out of the box. I did nothing to this. It didn't need anything. I didn't use product. I didn't, I, all I did was run my fingers through it. It looked awesome out of the box. So there's no out of the box at the end of this because it looked just like this. I didn't, as a matter of fact, I did the out of the box a couple of hours ago and then set it aside until I could come and film this review. So I've really done nothing. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Friends, here we are outside. It's quite cold out here in uh, very cloudy but natural light conditions. This is dark brown. It's even snowing a little bit, it looks like. So dark brown. It's just a very rich, 
dark brown. No red tones, no highlights, just really rich. This is actually the color my hair was before I started losing it and getting some gray. <laughs> so this color feels like home to me. So if you're looking for a rich, deep, dark brown, almost black, it's not black, but it's very dark brown, no red, no highlights, Gabor Dark Brown. Thanks for watching. Thank you.